Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. It's so good to be back. I love these vlogs so much. I also wanted to say, I read all of y'all's comments, like all of them, and I just, they make me so happy. If I don't get a chance to respond to every one of them, just know I'm reading them, I'm loving them. You guys are the freaking best. Okay, this last week was, slash still is, the Summer Ween Readathon, and I had every intention to participate. I did participate. I am participating, but I failed a little bit. I don't want to say failed. I didn't fail. It's been hard. I've, you guys know I was pretty transparent as much as I could be at least in last weekend's vlog that in my personal life there's just some things that are going on that I just can't really juggle a lot of other things right now, at least very well. I'll talk about it more when I can talk about it, but with that said, it kind of last weekend kind of bled a little bit into this week and so I definitely had every intention to read five books for each prompt for the Summer Wayne Readathon and so far I have read one. <laughs> and I started off really strong too. I read Cabin at the End of the World in like a day and I was like oh my gosh I got this readathon and then I got really cocky and I haven't finished anything since then. I have been reading slash listening to the audiobook for Only the Good Indians I'm not really loving this book too much. I'm not hating it. It's fine. I'm just not like dying to get back to listening to it. I do have a couple of hours left of this, but I don't think I'm going to prioritize finishing it this weekend. That's because I have other books that I really want to read. So I think I'm going to prioritize those. First one is this middle grade called Ghost Squad. I... And buddy reading this with Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte and I feel terrible because I have not read it yet. I feel like I can read middle grades fairly quickly. This is also currently on script. So I might like fly through this one. Granted I have a busy weekend. We'll get to that soon. And then I have these two more like scary books. I have The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. You guys recommended that I read this one for the readathon. This was y'all's pick. This is what a lot of people wanted me to read, so I picked it up and I, it sounds really scary. I'm very intrigued. But then the other one that I want to read is Kill Creek, and a lot of you read this. At least a lot of people that commented in my August TBR video said they really liked this one or they're going to read it soon, so like I think it's gaining a lot of popularity. And I really want to read this one too, and it's kind of like a scary spooky house story so I'm really torn between which one I can get through this weekend because I'm not going to be able to read both of them however I really want to read both of them and will be reading whichever one doesn't make it. I actually asked you guys on Instagram what I should read pick between Kill Creek or the Sundown Motel let me check what y'all decided that I should read this weekend and that's what I'm going to read. I feel like it's going to be fairly split like down the middle. Okay so the winner was the Sundown Motel. 54% voted for this one and 46 voted for Kill Creek. So it was actually very, very close. But this weekend I will be reading the Sundown Motel. I am very excited. I've heard that this is really spooky and I want something spooky. So I hope it lives up to my expectations. And then if I get through this one, I also really want to read Ghost Squad. And if I don't get to Ghost Squad, I'll probably just read it really quick in the week because I really, really want to read this one. So, got all of that stuff out of the way. This weekend is going to be a really good weekend. It's going to be better than last weekend, which anything would be better than last weekend. <laughs> Today I'm working, obviously, and then we are actually, Andrew and I, are going with his brother and his brother's fiance. They're getting married next month and I'm so excited. I love them so much. So we are all going over to Andrew's parents' house. Andrew and Matt. Matt is his brother's name. We're all heading to their parents' house tonight. They live about an hour and a half away from us. And we're just spending the night tonight over there because tomorrow they asked us if we wanted to go gelato tasting with them for their wedding. They're getting gelato. They want us to go with them to taste it. And we were like, 
yeah so i'm really excited about that it should be really really fun i've never been gelato tasting but it should be a really good time their names are matt and taylor and they're just really similar to andrew and i and like the lifestyle that we live and like the ages that we are neither of us have kids so like it's just fun to have a couple who's kind of in the same place in life not that the other couples that we hang out with have that have kids are like bad by any means but it's just nice to kind of sometimes not have that factor you know what i'm saying it's just nice to have friends again honestly um and they're great so yeah we're gonna go there tonight after work we are gonna get a fish fry tonight <laughs> Y'all should let me know if you're familiar with fish fries, but I'm only familiar with them because of where I live. In Wisconsin, it's really common to get fish fry, like fresh fish, on Friday nights. I don't know. That's just like a thing. I never did it growing up, but Andrew did. And then when we started dating, he was like, this is a fish fry. And my world was changed and it's the bomb. So we're going to get fish fry. We're going to get cheese curds. We're going to drink beer. It's literally going to be the most Wisconsin type meal you could ever have. Um, but it's going to be really fun. Maybe we'll do fire tonight at their house. They live like out in the country, kind of like just away from town, noise, traffic streets. Like it's so nice. So I'm actually really excited, looking forward to going out there for an evening and then gelato tasting tomorrow. And then we're actually driving back home tomorrow night because we've all got stuff to do on Sunday. So that is what the weekend holds for us. I'm really excited to be back. I'm going to go to Target on my lunch break because I need to give cats some cat food so they don't starve overnight while we're gone. And yeah, it's just going to be a great weekend. For now, I'm going to get back to work and do the adult things that I have to do. <laughs> Hello, work is done. It's the weekend officially. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, side note, I went to Target and I listened to more of Only the Good Indians, this guy. When I talked about it this morning, I must have stopped like right before everything got crazy. And this is much more slow burn than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> But the crazy parts are crazy and now I'm like back to being a little bit confused and bored But I don't know. I feel very conflicted about this book I really really like parts of the writing and the story and then I really really don't like other parts. Yeah, I'm just kind of an update there Anyway, I've been getting ready. We are probably gonna head out soon Andrew's on his way home and then I think we're taking Matt and Taylor's car I think we're going with them. So we're gonna go on a little road trip Back to home. I got some packages in the mail. Thought I would be fun to show you guys. I know one of them is a book. I know one of them is something for working out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna unbox that, but I don't know what the other one is. So let's just take a peek. I don't know where to put you. We'll go over here. Okay, good enough. It's fine. So like I said, one of them is a book. I'm very excited for it. It has my eye has been on it for a while, and it is The Swap by Robin Harding. I mentioned recently that I really want to read more Robin Harding books, and a lot of you guys mentioned this one. Sounds a little crazy, not gonna lie. I'm sure if you look at the cover and think of the title and put two and two together, you might know some of the themes that happen in this book. I don't know. But she writes really great, like, I wouldn't say like mystery thrillers. I mean, kind of. Like, Big Little Lies is how I kind of think of Robin Harding. Like, those, like, dramatic, familial, kind of thriller-ish stories. So, I'm very excited to read that. Okay. I don't know what this one is. I can't remember what else I ordered. Maybe Andrew ordered this. What is the, who? It has my name on it. I did not order this. I was not expecting this. <laughs> what? I was, I was literally, you guys, I was not expecting this. <laughs> Somebody sent me books. Where's the note? Oh my gosh, you guys. Where did it go? Where's the note? I just saw it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was really genuinely <laughs> just thinking I was opening up my own packages. Oh my gosh, Monica. Enjoy your gift from Monica. Thank you so much. I am like speechless right now. Oh my goodness. This is great. Okay, so she sent me three books. Seriously, oh my gosh. Okay, 
<laughs> it's just made my day. She sent me Get a Life, Chloe Brown, which I'm so excited to read. I have really been wanting to read this one. A lot of people were reading Take a Hint. Danny Brown, I think it was the other one. And I think this is like the first one in the series. I don't know if you have to read both of them. But anyway, I don't care. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to read this. Thank you. She also sent me Dear Martin, which is by Nick Stone. And I have wanted to read this, honestly, for like years. And I've just been sleeping on it. This one just sounds so awesome. The cover is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I can't wait to read this. I really, really cannot wait to read this. I'm going to prioritize reading this very, very soon. And oh my gosh. This is so funny. I was literally just telling two days ago. I was talking to Liv and Kaylin. <laughs> I know I'm so excited, but seriously, this is crazy. I was literally telling them that I was going to read this book for October. So I was literally about to order this book very, very soon, and she sent it to me, and it's Horror Store. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Y'all. Oh my word. It's like a horror story. And it happens in like an Ikea type store. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at like the hands coming out of the, the little shelves. Oh my word. Thank you. Seriously, what the heck? Day made. Thank you so much, Monica. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was so unexpected. I literally thought I was opening up my own packages. Like that just was so nice. The other thing that I got is this giant package that contains a box. <laughs> literally a box it's a wooden box basically I really want to start doing hit workouts again I miss doing hit workouts because there's just something harder about them and strengthening about them and so I'm gonna start this new program and so I bought with some of my fun money from work I bought a box so you can do like box jumps or step ups or toe taps stuff like that so that's what this is I won't show you guys now maybe I'll put it together this weekend but I'm very excited about this this should be a lot of fun okay I just saw Andrew pull in the driveway. So I'm going to go pack, keep getting ready, and we are going to go over to his hometown. We're going to get fish and cheese curds and beer, and I'm so excited. Hold up just a minute. Been looking for some help just to find myself. Like a thousand times before Can't take this anymore Cause I've been looking for something To change thoughts into motion Been waiting way too long Yeah, waiting just for somebody To love and to surround me And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for some Hi, good morning. Wow, okay. It's Saturday. Sorry, I didn't check in last night. I got so tired. So tired. But we had a really fun night last night. We went to... It was about a, like a two-hour drive. It's actually a little bit further than I thought it was. So, and then we went to this place called Schwartz and Droopers, which is just amazing. So good. The best fish fry we've ever had. Love it. And then we got home at what, probably like 9.30. We got some ice cream, came home, and then just stayed up talking until like 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Seriously, it was so late, but it was really fun. I was like falling asleep. I had, we started talking for a bit and then we had some wine and I had a glass of wine. And after that glass of wine, I was like legitimately falling asleep on the couch. <laughs> while everyone else was talking and I was like I need to go to bed. <laughs> I went to bed and slept so great. This is like the room that we always sleep in when we're here. Um, it's just kind of like their back spare bedroom. I don't know what it is but it is so cozy and comfortable. They have like blinds that block out the sun. I can't really see because it's super overexposed but there's just trees like it's just trees <laughs> surrounding us and it just feels like such a cabiny experience and it's so cozy and we slept in until 10 o'clock. I cannot tell you the last time I slept in until 10 o'clock. You guys, 
it felt so good. I feel so good. So that's kind of like my little update. We are going to head to the little gelato place in like a couple of hours. So I'm really excited. After that, I think the guys actually want to go golfing. So we might just hang back here. I really want to read some more. I only got a couple of pages into this book, but I already really like it. Yeah, I'm literally like 10 pages in. <laughs> But it's really good so far, so I'm really, really excited to keep reading it. I think those are my only updates. I'm going to go get some breakfast and have a great day. Have a really great day. I hope you're having a really good day, too. I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me But you showed me how to believe Still gets me When I look back I can see you're hiding Waiting for a moment to step in And I'll never understand how you saw It is hard to share my thoughts Ooh, na, na, na. It's like cutting a wound in a bleeding heart It gets me But I know that you need it all Ooh, Just give me some time cause I need to know That you're staying mm. When I look back I can see you're hiding Waiting for a moment to step in And I'll never understand how you saw it coming Hello! Oh my goodness it's so late it's like I don't even know okay it's 11 o'clock it's not that late but it feels really late to me I just had such a good day it was such a fun day like so many good things <laughs> happened so we started off the day I don't know if I mentioned it earlier I felt like I was kind of in a weird haze when I was talking this morning but we went to gelato tasting with my brother-in-law and his soon-to-be wife because they're doing gelato for their dessert for their wedding next month and so they asked us if we wanted to come gelato tasting with them and <laughs> the gelato place is like in this really small town that's probably like a half an hour from where they live it's located in a movie theater but the movie theater has been shut down for like five months and it just opened this weekend <laughs> but no one has been coming or maybe it was like last weekend but no one has been coming to the movies really so like nobody was there it was just this big empty movie theater and the four of us there were two guys that were helping helping us and giving us all the flavors to taste so the gelato place is located kind of in this like arcade type looking room 
And then we actually went back into the kitchen and that's where they had all of like the testing samples in their freezer. And so they let us taste like, I don't know, we probably tried 20 to 30 flavors of gelato. <laughs> it was so good. The flavors were unreal. Like the fruit ones. And then there were some that were like alcoholic. So there was like an Irish cream. There was like a vanilla caramel whiskey. Oh my gosh, it was so good. My two favorites were the chai and the caramel apple oh my gosh you guys the caramel apple literally tastes like a granny smith apple dipped in caramel it's so good they get to pick six different flavors so i think they're picking that one i think they're all also picking s'mores which tasted like an actual s'more roasted over a campfire it was crazy i think they're also doing what were the other ones that they really liked the salted caramel I think they are doing the, the vanilla caramel whiskey. I can't remember. But they picked really good flavors and the guys were so nice. Like this is this is why like I miss living in small towns because people are just really friendly and they're just so willing to kind of go the extra mile. So not only did we get to taste all this gelato, but then they were like, oh yeah, what flavors do you want to take home? We'll just put up put some pints together for you. If we have extra, like you can just take it home with you. <laughs> so we came home with like two pints of gelato each, which was crazy. And then, because we uh, we walked in the movie theater and we smelled popcorn, we were like, oh, is there popcorn popping? And they were like, yeah, we'll send you home with some, we'll send you home with some. So they take us, after we get the gelato, they take us around and they, they put together these huge bags of movie theater popcorn for us, hand that to us, like just for free. Wasn't asking for anything, just, they were just being like super nice. And then they were like, yeah, we actually have another site that does our gelato. It's like this little cute candy shop. And if you go there, it's like, got a bunch of really cool chocolates and stuff and you guys should totally go I'll let her know that you're coming and she'll hook you up and we're like what so we head over to this chocolate shop in the same town and we meet her and she shows us like where the chocolates made and then she hooks us up and she gives us all free chocolate I mean seriously it was crazy <laughs> It was so incredibly nice and it was just such a fun day. It was so fun hanging out with Matt and Taylor. It's really been so much fun to just have friends again and to go places and do things. And I really like going over to Andrew's parents' house because of like where they live. It just feels more secluded and even just road tripping like through the backwoods. And I don't know, if you live in Wisconsin, I think you understand, but it's just so beautiful here. And it's so funny because growing up I hated it I just was like oh this place is so podunk and it's just so boring and flat and like there's just trees everywhere like it's so dumb <laughs> and now that I'm back and I think just now that I'm older I have such a much more of an appreciation for it because it's just beautiful and it's serene and like the lakes are so pretty and the trees are gorgeous and I just really like it. It's just where we are meant to be, at least for right now. We then ended up going home and we got some pizza from their local pizza place and oh my gosh, the pizza is bomb. We could never find good pizza in Memphis. And they have such good pizza here, it's crazy. And then we ended up leaving and it's about a two hour drive so we just got back home around 10 o'clock. Super tired because it was just like a fun, social day but I really want to read more of this. I've been listening to a bit of it. I ended up getting, I had uh, some Audible credits left over so I ended up getting the book on Audible and yeah I started listening to it and now I just like really 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 want to honestly just read the whole thing like I want to binge it so I think that's pretty much what tomorrow is going to consist of. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> Okay, so there's my little check-in. I am super tired. I am going to read some more, hit the hay, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Sunday. Hello, happy Sunday. I slept in this morning. I wasn't really feeling that well this morning, so I slept in. Andrew had to drum at church, so that's where he's been. It's actually, what, like 12.30? It's like 12.30. I didn't sleep in until 12.30. I've been awake since like 9. But Andrew's been at church and now he's grabbing lunch with his friend and his brother. And I have been reading quite a bit. I love this book. 
so far. Thank you so much to those of you that recommended that I read this book in my August TBR. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Like, absolutely loving it. It's everything that I like in a spooky, scary book. It's like paranormal, it's true crime, it's dual timeline. It's so good. I love it. Love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I probably haven't talked about what this book actually is about yet. So sorry. <laughs> but this follows the story of two people, two women. One is named Viv and it's, she's back in 1970... 1982, sorry. So we follow Viv in 1982 as she is a young girl and she's in Fell, New York. She basically kind of like left home, ran away from home to pursue an acting career in New York, but she didn't quite make it that far. She ended up working the night shift at this sundown motel and very spooky, scary things are happening at night. We find out early on that she disappears and Fast forward to 2017 in Fell, New York, where her niece, Carly, yes, her niece, has decided to go to Fell, New York to figure out what happened to her aunt. It's so good. I love a good dual timeline. I just absolutely love it. Riley Sager does it all the time, and I just think it's so, it's so entertaining, and it's just so fun to see, like, two different sides of a similar story and how they, like, parallel. It's written really well. Every single chapter, I'm just super invested. I freaking love this book. I love the setting of being in this, like, really spooky, old kind of gross motel on the side of a highway and just these crazy things happening and then like the true crime aspect too i love true crime i don't think i talk about that a lot on this channel but i love true crime so much there's a channel that i watch on youtube i'm forgetting her name but she does true crime stories and i'm like i get so into them. I watch too many of them and then I start freaking myself out and get really paranoid so then I have to take a break, but oh my goodness. Love it. I'm just loving it. Did I gush about it enough yet? I don't know. <laughs> super, super happy with this one. I'm definitely gonna finish it today. I can't put it down. Like, I really cannot. I'm obsessed. I'm wondering if her other book, Broken Girls, I think is what it was called. I feel like that was her first one, maybe. If you guys have read that one, is it as good as this one? Because I think I want to read it. Like, I'm I'm really, really loving this author and just like the way it's written. And it's definitely like giving me spooky vibes. I was reading it last night and I was like, ooh, <laughs> I need to go to bed. I'm getting a little scared. <laughs> so I love it. I'm, I'm just so happy with this one. Agenda today is pretty much to read this book. Do need to get some cleaning done. I always like to do some cleaning on Sundays so that my work week starts off in a kind of clean and happy environment. I was actually going to go to lunch with Andrew after he got done at church, but he ended up going to lunch with his friends. Amisha just... <laughs> do, do you guys have cats? Like, if you have cats, do they also get the zoomies? Because I knew that dogs got the zoomies, but oh my goodness, my cats just go nuts sometimes for no reason. <laughs> and Misha's like seven, she's seven or eight years old. And she just flies around this house sometimes like a bat out of hell. It's so funny. Anyway, I was going to go to lunch with Andrew. He ended up going with his friends. So I'm super hungry. It's like 1230 and I haven't eaten yet because I was going to wait to go with him. It's fine. I just ordered myself some Panera. I just found out. I don't know how I miss that Panera delivers to my house, but they do. And I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. I love Panera and I had no clue. I didn't know that there was one actually in the town, let alone that they delivered, so I'm just very happy. So I ordered myself a Panera Feast, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna read this book. I'm gonna chill out. I'm sure Andrew's gonna come home and take a nap, so like just all the alone time to myself, uh, which is always, I feel like, needed for me after a very like social day. It's just, I don't know, it just introvert things, right? Also, I got the cutest little coloring book. So I ordered a couple of other things with that self-care money, like I mentioned. And I got the cutest coloring book. It's coffee and animals. And it's just adorable. I found this on Amazon super randomly. And it's just like all of these really cute like coffee cups with little cute coffee phrases. 
and little animals next to it. It's not all like cats. There's like sloths and llamas and stuff. There's also coffee drinks in the book too, which is super cute. I'm just really excited about that. I haven't colored in a minute. I get really into coloring and then I get really sick of it and then I get really into it again. Anyway, just want to check in, say hello, start the day. And um, yeah, can't wait to talk more about this book. I just have a feeling I'm really, really going to like it. I need more paranormal books in my life, honestly. They're just so much fun. If you have any more paranormal book recommendations, please, please, please put them down below. I would love to read more of them. They're just so fun. They're so thrilling and entertaining and I want more of them in my life so badly. So please tell me, especially if they're like this one, because I'm really liking it. currently 10 30 and i have officially finished the sundown motel i'm drinking a little nightly cup of tea this one is the organic cold 911 from david's tea it was actually the one that i didn't order which by the way they're totally sending me the correct tea as well as a new bag of matcha so very excited about that that means i get to keep the cold stuff that they sent me too and this is the cold 911 I think it's called something like that and it's like peppermint and orange and apple and like I think eucalyptus it's so good so good okay so I just finished the sundown motel and it was so good I really really liked this it wasn't the best like most shocking twisty thriller book that I've ever read but it was just so entertaining you know when you just read a book and it just kind of like hits the spot like you're just like this is exactly what I was in the mood for and that's that's what this was <laughs> I can't really talk too much more about like what the book was about because it was obviously like a mystery but I loved the fact that this was like part paranormal part true crime in present day or in 2017 we're following Carly who is working the night shift at this sundown motel where her aunt worked in 1982 or three and then she went missing and she's trying to figure out what happened to her aunt she's also experiencing a lot of like the creepy things that happen at the hotel the same stuff that happened to her aunt is now happening to her and she's piecing all these things together and then every couple of chapters or so we're going back to her aunt's story and it, we're seeing they, how things unfold and i just love when it, mystery thrillers do that. It's just so fun to watch the story unfold and this was really done so so well. So thank you again for recommending this book to me. I really did enjoy it. 
I will say I wish that there was more paranormal in this book. It was kind of like a lot of paranormal in the beginning and a lot in the end and not so much in the middle, which I understand now looking at it as a whole, it kind of makes sense. In the beginning, I was really loving it because there were so many different paranormal things happening and I was just like, this is so cool. I've never really read a book like this before. And then it just kind of tapered off and I was like, oh, okay, it's kind of like a true crime mystery thriller book. That's fine. And then it kind of came back and I was like, oh, okay, I like this again. <laughs> so I think looking at it now that I've finished the whole thing, really liked it. I thought it was really well done. I personally wish that the paranormal stuff was like woven in throughout more of the story, but I understand why it wasn't, if that makes sense. Like that didn't really hinder my enjoyment of the book at all. I was just looking for something like paranormal all the way through. If that makes sense, I feel like I'm not really making that much sense, but hopefully you get it. <laughs> it was really action packed, especially at the end. It was kind of like giving me no exit vibes, like not that intense. Certainly not all the way through, but just at the end there, like the action really picked up. There was stuff happening. I was like, oh my goodness, what is going to happen next? Really, really loved that aspect. Yeah, I would say that if you're a fan of like Riley Sager books, especially his last two that had more paranormal vibes, I think this would be a really fun one to pick up in October because it's a little bit spooky. Really fun, really entertaining. Super love this one. Thank you so much for hanging around for another vlog. This was a really, really great weekend. I just had such a good time with friends, family, getting out of the house for a little bit. It was just really needed, especially after the kind of rough week that I had last weekend. So yeah, I feel really like refreshed and <sighs> just good all around like a really good day. Definitely don't want to go to work tomorrow. Don't want to go back to the realities <laughs> of a Monday but uh, we'll make it through. And I actually have this week coming up, I have Friday and the following Monday off. They gave us an extra day off for Labor Day. So I'm really excited about that. Still debating if I want to vlog the whole time or just do my regular Friday through Sunday vlog. Uh, we'll see. But I'm really excited to have some extra time off. Maybe rest. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. I hope that you are doing well and you're staying safe and healthy. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye. Hold up just a minute. Been looking for some help. Just to find myself